You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Cache County got its name because trappers used to use the area as a safe place to hide their pelts and hides. Beaver pelts were a hot commodity in Utah's early history, and hunters killed the animal at extraordinary rates. Well, that trade continues to decline as people learn more about the importance beavers play in the ecosystem. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner joins us from Logan. And Kate, why should Utahns care about beavers? Researchers, biologists, volunteers, and ranchers are all working together to reintroduce beavers into rivers across the state. And they say doing so could improve drought conditions, create safe havens for other animals, and even protect homes from wildfires. <laughs> Beavers are native to the Beehive State. They were almost um, driven to extinction. For hundreds of years, people hunted beavers for their fur. And the trappers used to use this valley as an area to come and do the mountain man rendezvous and trade their, their furs and things like that. The fur trade is dying. It's always been a good valley for beavers and for uh, mountain men. And now we've just kind of turned the uh, circle around where we're now, instead of um, trapping and using the furs, we're trapping and using the beavers to do restoration. Nate Norman is the lead biologist at Utah State University's Beaver Ecology and Relocation Center, also known as Burke. Beavers, like wolves, are kind of a keystone species. The center takes beavers that are trapped for being a nuisance and reintroduces them into the wild. But first, the animals will need a quick checkup. So we house them here, we keep water in the pens, we um, flush it, clean it every day, and we keep them fed and make sure that they're safe and there's no injuries. Becky Yeager began volunteering years ago. I think the first time I held a beaver was when we were checking one in and uh, Nate let me hold it and my heart was forever changed. I was forever dedicated to this. She's so committed that she's now the volunteer coordinator and plans to do this as long as she can. As we always say, it's a win-win-win and so these beavers would be lethally trapped. She says it's a win because the beaver lives. A win because it's released into an ecosystem that needs to be restored. And a win for the benefits volunteers get just by working with the animals. We use beavers as a tool in our habitat restoration projects. Burke works with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources and biologists like Shane Hill to restore wetlands across the state, which Hill says could improve drought conditions by slowing the flow of runoff to lakes and reservoirs. It reaches it at the time of year when we need it most instead of just a big runoff in the spring. Beavers can also improve hunting by improving quality of food for wildlife. When all the other grass is dried out and not as nutritious, they can come up to the riparian areas that are expanded because of beavers. Riparian areas are the lands that run along bodies of water and rivers. They support life and vegetation that is different from the surrounding land. Hill says these areas help fish populations and provide more food for cattle. Not only that, but a growing beaver population could save your home from wildfires. Increase the wetted area and which acts as an effective way to stop or slow down wildfires when they come up to, up to those riparian areas. It's so much cheaper to do it that way and, and they will just keep reproducing and, and creating more. Burke cannot release beavers in the winter because it would greatly reduce their chances of survival. But with spring just around the corner, they're preparing for another busy season as more people choose to trap and turn over the animals to Burke for release. Reporting in Northern Utah, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. Time now for Utah's 